together. Like Tim's Coffee? And welcome back to Wayne Wright on HNLive.ca, the 2022 Alberta Junior B Provincials as we're wrapping up day number two. An exciting one it has been so far. Dave Dawson here, pleased to be joined by Matt Pundick, who is the president of the St. Paul Canadians of the Northeast Junior, Northeast Junior, Northeast Alberta Junior B Hockey there League. We go. No. Now we got it. <laughs> it's been a long couple days, Matt. I've talked to a lot of people and I've... Really appreciate you making time for hey, us. Thanks uh, for having me. Yeah, what awesome. do you make? Uh, what do you make of the event so far? It's you know a class class act show here. Um, you know, hats off to Wainwright and the Bisons for uh, hosting and and Hockey Alberta for getting it all set up. And uh, yeah, it's it's really cool. It's been I think I think I was about eight the last time I was at a provincial, so it's it's pretty cool to be here. What what an absolute! Uh, I can't even think of the word. Uh, schmozzle maybe of shuffling the games <laughs> all over the place. You got comebacks. You got. Wainwright, which is a bit of a surprise, which you've seen a lot yeah, this yeah, year. That yeah, had to be a shock to you. Yeah, I mean, you know, I didn't, I didn't get to watch any of the Wainwright games, but uh, you know, they're a very strong team, and uh, so you know that either either speaks uh, highly of the other teams that are, are beating them, or um, you know, sometimes things you don't get the bounces you need, and uh, yeah, you, you don't get the outcome that you want. So we chatted with Adam Huxley uh, right on the first game on Thursday, and he mentioned this might be some of the most powerhouse programs that we've seen collected in one weekend and i'd imagine he's probably just as surprised as everybody yeah you know i think it's it's a good uh a good viewpoint of, of the junior b league and, and kind of the talent that we're bringing in and um the teams and and the and the league in general of of uh you know being able to develop players to to move them on to the next level so it's pretty cool to see matt obviously we've talked at length with the number of the presidents and general managers about this what the last couple of years has been like Suffice to say, I think maybe the Northeast League has probably had a bit of a bumpy road in the last couple of years. When it comes to this, what's it been like for the St. Paul Canadians coming through this and where you are now? Well, you know what, the last last couple of years, we've we've really just our program. You know, it it, it you would think that maybe it, it affects you in a way that you got to kind of sit back and wait for things to open up or wait for something to get better. Um, our what we've tried to do with our program is we've actually been accelerating through all the shutdowns. Um, we have our alumni foundation that, that, you know, got started right before the COVID shutdowns. Um, so we got, you know, scholarship programs coming out, uh, lots of really cool things happening there. Reestablish our, our relationship with the Montreal Canadiens. Um, so lots of really awesome things happening there. And then, yeah, I mean, as far as a team perspective, um, the communities come together, uh, the support there has been awesome. And, uh, yeah, things are just kind of on the on the upward climb instead of uh, a downward slope, right? So Yeah, absolutely. And that's, I think, the stories we're hearing about resiliency through the last couple of years. It's been phenomenal. Maybe for those who aren't familiar with the hockey community of St. Paul, the history goes rich. Maybe take us into the, the town of St. Paul and what the appetite is for the Canadians. Yeah, I mean, the Canadians are, uh, you know, I like to say we're kind of the team in St. Paul. Obviously, we got an awesome minor hockey program, and uh, hats off to the guys, you know, Bryce and uh, the president there and, and everyone involved in that in that uh, system. And, uh, yeah, the St. Paul's always been a hockey community. Uh, team's been and we're coming up to 70 years now, like 7-0. Uh, so we've been around for a while. Um, yeah, and it's just it's just the community sports always there. I mean, the the fans are there, the uh, you know the businesses, everyone that gets involved. And it's you know I always kind of call it a hockey family in St. Paul. Um, it's yeah, we bring in you know some players from from outside the area, but um, it's always nice to have some hometown boys. And uh, that, that yeah, it's, it's it's just awesome. I mean, I don't know how else to describe it. <laughs> I heard it said a number of times that. You know, in bigger cities, some of the junior hockey teams might get lost in all that's happening. But when you go into a smaller town in the prairies, especially Alberta, you gather on a Friday night to come to watch a hockey game. It's really the the, the apex of everything that goes on. I imagine it's similar to that in St. Paul's. Yeah, well. you know, it's uh, the last couple of years with some of the restrictions stuff, obviously, not to, not to touch back on that, but yeah. it's, it's been limited, obviously. Um, but yeah, I mean, in St. Paul, it's you got your Friday night home game or a Saturday night home game, and and you know what, you could we can pack the barn pretty good, so it's awesome. Yeah, it's incredible stuff. Got to ask you about that relationship with the Montreal Canadiens. So what is maybe not really necessarily the specifics of that, what that looks like, but how much of an advantage is that to have you know that sort of relationship in in building the notoriety of your program? Yeah, well, I mean, you know, if you look way back, I mean, I'm probably not the best guy to, to talk about the, <laughs> the the history there, but sure. I mean, if you look way back. I mean, originally our team was kind of to develop players uh, and out, out west and bring them uh, back east to Montreal. Um, now, um, you know, we've we've 
we kind of lost that, or I should say in the past, we kind of, that relationship kind of fizzled out a little bit. Um, and now we've, you know, reconnected with them. So, you know, it's really just getting started. Um, it's really, it'll be really interesting to see where it goes from here. And uh, like I said, it's still in that, that upward, uh, upward development. So there's lots of cool things coming down the pipe and it's just uh, a matter of time for those to kind of get, get figured out. Maybe speaking specifically to the caliber of players at the Junior B level, we've talked about this a couple of times already this weekend, that years ago, Junior B was, you know, they called it the jungle. But now you see a guy like Ryan Jones, you know, played for the Oilers a couple years back, right, at a Junior B. There are a lot of really high caliber hockey players mm. playing Junior B. Maybe just a, what is what is that like to be able to, you know, I guess when it comes to the relationship with the Montreal Canadiens, not only that, but on the recruiting aspect of, you can get a lot of really good hockey players in your town. Yeah, you know, and I think that's that's an important goal. I mean, back, you know, even I'm an alumni myself, back when I played that exactly the jungle, like you said, and it's not that it wasn't good hockey. It no. just, it, it uh, was kind of almost looked at as a, maybe a, you know, a, a bad place to play. That's where you go to kind of end your hockey career per se, right? Now I feel that that table's kind of turned and um, it's more of a stepping stone for players to be able to come out, develop, um, you know, our team, that's one thing we really focus on. We don't want to hold anybody back. I mean, if you're good enough to, and you're going to go play somewhere else, that's where we want to get you to. So, um, yeah, that's that's really our goal on, on our club. So, Yeah, Matt, we really appreciate having you on. I mean, we love being a part of bringing amateur and minor sports, bringing a professional caliber uh, broadcast to that. And what advantage has it been for your organization to be able to have streaming for uh, this event as well, especially for some of the fans back home. Yeah, no, it's awesome. I mean, uh, I'm sure a lot of our fans are checking out, and it's just really nice that you guys are covering the event and uh, helping us kind of spread the awareness of uh, not only the you know junior B leagues around the province, but uh, also to get us a little bit of airtime and, and help us spread the word of the Canadians. So. All right, well, I'll give you a little bit of airtime. Maybe if some players are thinking about playing in St. Paul, I'd give a bit of a sales pitch. Not that you haven't already. <laughs> if I was young enough to play hockey or I could skate, I would come, but maybe just another little sales pitch for the community of St. Paul and, and uh, what would what it would mean to continue to have great high caliber hockey there. Yeah, I mean, St. Paul's a great place. It's uh, it's kind of, uh, you know, we're always growing as a community, but um, it, we still have that kind of small town, hometown feel. So, I mean, you can go out in the community. Everybody kind of knows you. Uh, we try to get our players out in the community to help out in a lot of events. Um, it's just, yeah, it's a really, really cool place to play. Um, we got our, our obviously our, our facility and our program and we're always trying to grow that so um, scholarships coming down the road um, we had a couple this year that we did but that that system is just growing every day so um, yeah lots of opportunities to come out and play in St. Paul and, and, and move on to something else too. And a victory right here would make a big difference. Maybe it would get be them. nice. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, I think I think we uh, well we know we want to win, right? So <laughs> yeah, bronze medal I think in 2017 I do believe for the program. So if I I could I could uh, be wrong. Yeah, I'm maybe I'm not sure to be honest, but potentially I, a gold medal would be nice this weekend. Hey, no. we'll take that. <laughs> Anything can happen. Honestly, we saw six yeah. two lead evaporate this yeah, afternoon. Yeah, it's, it's been kind of crazy. I think a lot of the teams are actually pretty tightly matched, so um, makes for some good hockey, right? Matt Pondick, president of the St. Paul Canadians of the Northeast Alberta Junior B Hockey League. Thank you so much for making hey, time for, for us today. Again. All right, well, as we've seen this afternoon, a two-goal lead means nothing. A four-goal lead means nothing. We'll see if this one stays. Stay tuned. Be back for the third period from Wainwright on HNLive.ca.